If you clicked on this video, you perhaps are interested in building a custom home in Toronto and being on the early stages. So you are wondering what kind of lot will serve this purpose the best, will satisfy your lifestyle needs or will maximize your profit if you are building a spec home. But before we look into it, I'd like to introduce myself to those who are on my channel for the first time and remind the rest of my followers what I do. I am Olena Vyoktistov, a real estate broker with Sotheby's International Realty in Toronto. My team and I specialize in helping local and relocating clients find their homes in the best neighborhoods that will fit their lifestyles. If you are interested in my insights, please support my channel by liking, commenting and subscribing. Let's begin! Select the perfect lot to build your custom home in Toronto is a critical decision that can greatly impact the success of the entire project. Choosing a lot means settling on many aspects that you will not be able to change during your ownership of this property. These include the convenience of the location, lot size, privacy, its position on the street and within the block, its exposure to the sun and the school district as well. Additionally, the configuration of the house will also depend on the lot you choose. For example, if you are looking to have a two-car garage built into the house, then naturally a 25-foot lot will not provide that convenience. Uh, you will most likely have uh, a one-car garage and one or two parking spots outside. Another example is uh, if you plan to have a pool in your backyard, then the minimum uh, lot depth requirement is 135 feet. Knowing these parameters allow you to eliminate listings or even neighborhoods from the list of your considerations. For example, Davis Hill Village will not fulfill your dream of having a two-car garage, just like many streets in Bedford Park will not allow to build a pool. Uh, when you have a house in mind uh, that you want to build and you know the budget, uh, this will determine the list of neighborhoods where to look for a lot. So I suggest you start working with a local realtor who knows all these things and you will not waste your time browsing unnecessary locations. What lot size is uh, best for building a custom home? Whether it's a house for your enjoyment or for your sale, I would say the ideal lot for building a custom home ranges from uh, 50 by 135 feet to 175 feet. Naturally, this entails a high investment, but uh, after completion, if everything is done correctly, these types of homes uh, often appreciate more and sell for higher profits. Also, if you are building for yourself, then having a meticulously constructed home on a 50-foot lot uh, will provide more space on the floors, a two-car garage, additional storage, a home office, four spacious bedroom, and a sizable backyard. Recently, we have observed um, highly efficient construction on 20-25 foot lots. These homes are built in a modern architectural style with many high-tech features. The architecture tends to be very typical. If you are deciding which home is your best match, you should uh, view quite a few properties of different types before making a decision. I always advise my clients to consider two factors when deciding on a home. If they are building for themselves, they must consider the convenience of the lifestyle in the first place. If they are building a spec home, they should think about general market expectations and the budget. Some features of new builds uh, should remain consistent in both cases. For example, the privacy of a lot. If you choose a lot that is overlooked by all the neighbor's windows, you will likely not enjoy it uh, by yourself. And also, of course, it will not sell for a premium when reselling the property. I am also a big advocate for a high walk scores. Although there are many newly built uh, luxury homes throughout Toronto in premium neighborhoods like Andrews, Winfield and Willowdale, I advise evaluating a car dependent lifestyle when choosing to live uh, in these neighborhoods and considering that these areas may limit the number of buyers for your spec home. I feel more confident in my clients' investments when they buy lots uh, and build homes closer to major streets, schools, and of course, within walking distance to amenities. At our first consultation, my clients learn about various aspects that affect or enhance their investment. For example, uh, my advice is always to seek out uh, a lot in an area 
uh, with the highly ranked public schools. Such areas will support the value of your home and the appreciation of your investment will occur more rapidly. We also discuss a lot exposure, which is uh, critical for those uh, desiring specific sunlight levels in their house or backyards. Also, some people may not regard this uh, as very important, however, there are additional considerations as well. For example, Feng Shui principles, which hold particular significance for uh, consumers with an Asian background, suggest that a lot uh, should not be located at a T intersection due to negative uh, energy flow. Personally, me, I take this advice uh, for a little bit different reason. I would prefer not to have the lights from approaching traffic in my house, especially in the bedrooms. In general, I think that building a home requires a significant skill and perhaps uh, an even greater skill is required to find and purchase a suitable lot for a reasonable price. I believe that profit is made at the time of purchase, not at the time of sale. Therefore, the guidance of a knowledgeable realtor is uh, practically invaluable. Please contact me to discuss your plans. If you are planning to build a custom home, do not assume that any area in Toronto will guarantee appreciation of your investment. Avoid areas that have not uh, experienced revitalization or what we call gentrification. These locations might be more suitable for renovations rather than uh, new construction. To summarize everything said above, here are the lots to avoid. Corner lots, while seemingly spacious, often bear heavier traffic, reduced privacy, plus most of the lot is useless, however, it will require maintenance. Avoid properties adjacent to busy roads where noise and pollution uh, interfere with the daily uh, ambience. As uh, I mentioned earlier, avoid lots near T intersections. They receive headlight glare and endure a stream of turning vehicles. Uh, avoid also homes facing or beside schools. They suffer from a periodic congestion, congestion during drop-off and pick-up times, as well as uh, noise and bustle. Proximity to fire departments is also a bad feature, while beneficial for safety, but introduces the risk of frequent siren distur disturbances. Also, avoid lots close to commercial properties. They attract not uh, just business, but also noise, light pollution, and traffic violating residential peace. Here are the principles of choosing a lot to maximize your investment. Number one, choose prime locations. Select areas with high desirability and limited supply to ensure a long-term value. Number two, assess lot positioning. Choose interior lots away from busy intersection and commercial zones. Number three, evaluate development trends. Uh, look uh, for neighborhood developments that could enhance or diminish your property value. Number four, consider future zoning changes. Stay informed about potential rezoning that could impact uh, property usage and worth. And fifth, uh, understand market dynamics. Align your purchasing strategy with current market trends for maximum gain. Well-chosen lots provide both financial rewards and personal satisfaction for years to come. When choosing a lot or dealing with uh, construction, make sure you surround yourself with professionals of different fields from the very beginning. Their guidance uh, is priceless, especially if uh, the professionals are reasonable, trustworthy and easy to reach when needed. Please get in touch to discuss your renovation and construction plans from a real estate perspective. I am proud to say that I have helped many clients and many families with their plans. Contact me by calling, texting or commenting down below. My team and I are actively using WhatsApp, Viber or WeChat. Meanwhile, please don't forget to like my videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel to be always updated as to living in Toronto and its real estate. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my new videos.